Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This video has been the most requested one so far and I have been planning on making this one for a long time now. So let's get right into it. This video is going to be divided into two steps, step number one and step number two. Step number one is going to involve sending your documents to ECE, which is Education Credential Evaluation, and that's a department that works in conjunction with NABP, which are the National Boards of Pharmacy, to make your degree credentialized over here in the United States. So first of all, step number one requires you to get your degree credentialized by ECE, which is also known as Education Credential Evaluation. And that's a department that works in conjunction with NABP, which are the National Boards of Pharmacy, to make sure that your degree is actually credentialized over here in the US. Okay, so the first step involves having your official proof of transcript and your official proof of degree photocopy, of course, that has to be signed by the official issuing body, which should be your um, dean or vice chancellor of your university or the college that you got your degree from. It should be signed by the issuing authority, plus it should have the date that the degree was awarded to you. Plus, both of these documents should be sealed in an envelope that should be stamped by the issuing body, which would be your university or the college that you got your degree from. Both of these documents that are now sealed in an envelope that, that is stamped by your issuing body, which is your college and university, of course, should be sent to ECE. Uh, through their website by paying the appropriate fees and then you have to request ECE to send a copy of the evaluation report to NABB which are national boards of pharmacy. So when you go to ECE website and you request an evaluation of the degree and everything there should be an option where they ask you if you want to send the evaluation report to somebody else as well and you have to choose NABP over there. In this way what happens is when ECE evaluates your degree and everything they automatically sends a copy of the evaluation report to NABP and now NABP knows that this person has a degree that is credentialized by ECE and now you will be able to move further to step number two. But you cannot move to step number two unless you have received the credentialized report or the evaluation report as you may say from ECE. Now comes step number two. So in step number two, you have to send once you receive your ECE evaluation report. So they, they send one copy to NABP and they automatically mails you one copy to your house. It's optional, but I would say you should also request a copy of the evaluation report mailed to your um, physical address, which would be here in the United States. So once you receive your evaluation report, which usually takes about like three from three to six months, it took me, I think three to four months in my case, but everybody is different. And in times of COVID, there should be something going on in their department as well. So I'm not pretty sure about it, but it usually takes about three to six months. So once you get the evaluation report, you have to move to step number two. In step number two, you have to submit a photocopy of your official transcript and a photocopy of the ECE report just to be safe side. Um, the one that they sent you to your house, you have to include a photocopy of that as well in the envelope and then you have to give them the proof of the license to practice pharmacy in the country that you initially obtained your degree in and that should be attested or signed by the government issuing authority of the country that you got your degree from or the or the license from and that should also be sealed in an envelope by the same issuing body so all these three documents we have the official proof of transcript or photocopy of course then we have the photocopy of the ece general report and then we have the proof of license which has to be signed by the government issuing authority and that should also be sealed in an envelope by and stamped by the government issuing authority all in all in step number two you have to submit your degree that has to be sealed by the issuing body, your school transcripts or your university transcripts, as you may say, that should also be sealed. The licensure or the registration of the pharmacist in the country you obtain the license in, that should also be sealed. Two photographs, passport size, fees, which should be in US dollars and that should be enclosed in, its, in a pink envelope. Notice of receipt of application and FPGE application form, that is one application form that should be included somewhere over here. And all the other documents including your birth certificate and other stuff like that. But all these other documents that are supporting documents other than your degree or your official transcript or your registration license of the pharmacist should be notarized by a notary public. I got mine notarized over here, but I believe you can do that over there as well. But these all should have, these all should have a line written on them saying, I have reviewed the original document and attest that this is a true and exact copy of the original. They must also 
be written directly on the photocopy by a notary public and have been overlapped partially by the notary public seal. The notary public must also include his or her signature if a document is no longer than one page, each page must be certified. This is also to bring to your notice that if any of your documents is not in English, that should be accompanied by a word for word translation of the original documents in English language. These documents have to be sent to NABP to the following address and then you should be good to go.